Game of Thrones season seven, episode number seven, AKA the season seven finale. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to the final episode of season seven for Game of Thrones. And then all we have left is season eight and then we are done with the show. And I think season eight is only seven episodes. I think it's a little bit shorter than this one, but I'm still here to enjoy this, man. The season seven finale, it's looking like it's an hour and 20 minutes long. Again, longer episode, shorter season, kind of a give and take type deal. This shit's gonna feel like a fucking movie last week. We kind of had a uh, a new kind of extreme. We, we hit a new point in the war with the White Walkers, I guess is the best way to put it, okay? Not only did they kill one of Daenerys' dragons, they fucking got one of her dragons in the White Army, bro. I don't know how the fuck that's going to work. Being as fire kills whites and it breathes fire, is it just not going to be able to breathe fire? Is it going to breathe ice or some shit like that? I'm kind of curious about that. I hadn't thought about that last week until actually right now. So that's gonna be super interesting to see, man. Obviously, they got one of the um, you know members of the Undead Army to bring to Cersei. So I'm assuming we're gonna have that this episode. The meeting showing her, you know, the Undead Army and the meeting with Daenerys, dude. There's just so much shit going on. Everything happening in Winterfell with Arya and Sansa, John. Oh my God, man, I'm fucking loving this shit. I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna hop into this episode. Before we do, I do ask if you guys are new to the channel, you do hit that subscribe button, comment down below what you guys wanna see next, man. Drop a like on the video for your boy. Full reaction will be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes. If you guys wanna check that out, link in the description down below. But we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna hop into this episode. Uh, let's see what we got, man. I don't know where we're gonna start out, but I'm nervous. And it's it's crazy, bro. Season eight after this, man. One last season and then we're done. I mean, again, I know we got the House of Dragons, you know, the House Targaryen prequel shit going on, but it's not the same. But I will be checking that out. Okay, okay, I will. But after this, man, it's gonna feel weird. I wonder when Sam's gonna come back in the story too. Last time we saw him, he was leaving the Citadel, right? So when was that? That was two episodes ago? Yeah, I think two episodes ago, three episodes ago. <laughs> also, man, if John gets back to Winterfell this episode, I'd be so happy, but I don't think he's going back to Winterfell. I feel like he would be at that meeting, um, you know, in King's Landing. I know, I know Cersei is the one they're trying to get on their side or whatever and convince her, but you know, to stop fighting Daenerys and stuff, but I feel like Jon should be there too. I mean, I know she sent an invitation to uh, Winterfell, but I don't know if that was necessarily meant for Jon in particular or if it really was for Sansa. Lots of questions. Also, quick rest in peace to Thoros from last episode. My man is gone. Look at Grey Worm. Oh my God, what the fuck is going on? What the fuck we doing? Intense start, huh? Dude, this this episode is gonna have a lot of death in it. I can already tell. Jesus, we're here? What? I didn't realize we were here. Dude, this has to be, you know, kind of scary for Jamie again, being that close to him again. How many barrels? 500, my lord. Get 500 more. Yes, my lord. <laughs> yeah, bitch, and at 500 more after that, and after that, and after that, cause <laughs> shit. What are they gonna try and do? Is this just for a deep, uh, a, like a defensive strategy, just in case something happens, or are they planning some shit? The Darthraki. Jesus, bro, that's gotta be scary for Jamie to see again, man. Just hearing the screams going, bro. They want some action. They're like, please make a fucking move, bitch. How many people live here? million give or take that's more people than the entire north crammed into that why would anyone <laughs> want to live that way this is john's first time being to king's landing i forget man you know we've talked about it so much and he's been around for so long i just assume you know he knows everything but he was young at the start you know and he went to the wall so this is his first time seeing it in person oh my god dude don't fuck with it <laughs> yeah it's alive come on man Come on. Bro, so did the Hound come alone or did Barrett come with him or anybody or is it just the Hound, man? And why the Hound to come back here of all people? And the rest of them? They're on their way to the Dragon Pit now. Including our brother? Yes, Her Grace. 
Daenerys is probably just going to pull up on her dragon. That's why she's not here yet. Because <laughs> they said they were going to bring the whole armies in the three dragons. That's why she's not here. Man, I wonder how the Hound's going to feel about the mountain, seeing him, how what he's become. Man, this is what I'm talking about. I love seeing, you know, these character interactions after so long. Dragons don't understand the difference between what is theirs and what isn't. Land, livestock, children. Letting them roam free around the city was a problem. Was this where they kept the dragons back in the day? They never showed us this. Oh, Maybe shit. Maybe it still is. Oh, fuck. At least Bronze there. Oh, Brienne's there already, too? That's right, Sansa did send her. Pod. Pod to Nick. Yeah. <laughs> Tyrion, say something to Pod. Call him Pod again. I'm glad you're alive. Come on. You can suck his magic cock later. <laughs> Dude, I love seeing their friendship still after everything that's going on and as serious as the situation is. I love it. Fuck off. You don't want smoke. You really don't. I was only trying to protect her. You and me both. Yeah, the hound said I ain't really trying to fuck with her. See, hound was trying to protect her, and the hound, the hound, he's still worried about her a little bit. I like that. Perhaps hmm. you've been reconsidering your allegiances. Yeah. Remember my offer. Please. I'm paying you. I'll pay double. And that would be double what now exactly? Don't you worry about me. I'm doing all right. If that's not looking after myself, I don't know what is. <laughs> yeah, but it ain't gonna it's go like to that. Again. Yeah, you too. See what I mean? Still friends after so long. I love it. I, I think Braun should join them, man. I wish he would reconsider, but I think like he feels like he can't, you know? Like he's close with both of them, but shit. Dude, if this motherfucker lets it out, if this motherfucker lets it out, I swear to God, if he lets the fucker out and they don't see it after all we went through last episode, I'll reach through the screen and kill the bitch myself. Imagine. <laughs> nah, but that shit would be, that would be some shit. Bron's a good man. I trust him. I don't think he's going to do no bullshit. Talk to John about Arya. Please. Brienne, I beg of you. Seems every bad idea has some Lannister cunt behind it. And <laughs> again, cunt to help them see it through. Dax, the mountain. Look, he sees him. He knows that's his brother, dude. Fuck. Look, he's a little, uh, the hound's probably a little intimidated. Dude, okay, so the hound didn't go take a piss. He was just coming inside. Why the fuck didn't you bring that thing inside with you? Are you kidding me? The most important fucking thing, literally for this meeting. Who? I swear if somebody sets that bitch out and it's free and she doesn't see it, because I can feel that coming, I'm gonna be pissed. Look, John and Cersei face to face first time. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude, my heart can't take it. And Daenerys ain't even pull up yet. You know she gonna come through on her dragons. Look, oh, Theon. Remember me? Yeah, you do. You're even fucking uglier than I am now. Damn. It's not how it ends for you, brother. You know who's coming for you. You've always known. The Hound, he gonna be the one to kill him? At some point, man. What a fucking line, and then he's just out, this bitch. Where is she? She'll be here soon. Didn't travel with you. <laughs> no. She f goes by Sky. She probably left, like, way after them, too, because she can get there so much quicker. Got a couple more days of rest. This is so awkward. Yep. Jamie said fuck. PTSD. It's kicking in. Yep, look at Cersei, she's like, fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> and of course she's coming through on her dragons for the intimidation, bruh. All of them. Well, there's only two now. That's the only thing. They're gonna see that there's only two of them and they're gonna look at that as a bit of weakness too, I bet. Jesus, bro, this is such a power fucking move. This is such a flex, dude. I'll fuck a flexing on them, literally. Drogon, bro. Dude, if they if if they kill all these dragons during before the end of the show, like if if all of them die, I'm gonna be so mad. As long as Drogon survives, I'll accept that. You gotta you gotta think a couple of people on the Lannister side are probably like, yeah, can we join them? <laughs> 
Like after seeing that, bro. <laughs> We've is... been here for some time. So awkward. My apologies. You were here for like five minutes, if that. Perhaps you ought to sit down. Why? Sit down or leave. Damn right. Thank you. I want this motherfucker to die at some point in the series. A good death. Lord Tyrion tells me a million people live in this city. They're about to become a million more soldiers in the army of the dead. I imagine for most of them it would be an improvement. <laughs> there is no conversation that will erase the last 50 years. We have something to show you. Dude, this fucker outside let him out, I bet you. Okay, no he didn't. Look at the hound, man. What a savage. That bitch gotta be heavy. Not even just having the fucking thing inside because that motherfucker probably don't weigh nothing. All that wood, though, bruh. Shit adds up. That thing's probably dead, isn't it? Dude, don't tell me it's dead because it's not fucking making any noise. Dude, it's probably fucking dead. Or out of the fucking box already, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Just tell me it's gone. I know it is. It's fucking gone. That fucker outside let it out. I knew it, bro. I knew it. I knew it. I don't know why I expected anything less. <laughs> Damn! Okay, it was in there, bro. Look, this motherfucker. <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> he kicked that shit forward. He said, that ain't coming for me, bro. <laughs> he said, I ain't even gonna look in there. I'm kicking that box forward. Fuck, bro. Yep. And you see it's still fucking going. Look, Cersei does look a little intimidated. Kyburn's probably intrigued. I'm glad the Hound didn't just kill it instantly. You know, they're showing like, look at this bitch. His, literally his legs are still moving. And we can destroy them with dragon glass. Hey, they, they got some nice daggers from it. Or Valyrian steel. <laughs> yep. You, you, you scared now, Cersei? She looks scared. I thought that bitch was out the box. I was going to be so upset. Can they swim? No. He's going to go to the Iron Islands. He's going I'm back home. I'm taking the Iron Fleet back to the Iron Islands. He said, what fuck are you that. Talking about? He said, fuck that, I'm out. I'm going back to my island. You should go back to yours. When winter's over, we'll be the only ones left alive. I mean, that is true, but she doesn't want to conquer. Uh, there, there'd be nothing left to conquer. You know what I mean? There'd be no people over here. She wants to save them. Mm. Just the king in the north? Not me. <laughs> I would never ask it of you. You would never agree to it. And if you did, I would trust you even less than I do now. Wow. I cannot serve two queens. He already chose her now, side. I've already pledged myself to Queen Daenerys. Of House Targaryen. Damn right. And he's saying it in front of everyone. That's crazy. I respect John. The dead will come north first. Enjoy dealing with them. We will deal with whatever is left of you. <laughs> Cersei's such a bitch. And she's stupid. So stupid. Her fucking pride. She doesn't care. She'd rather have everyone die before she does some shit like that. You know, before she calls the truth. This goes beyond houses and honor and oaths. This is life Talk and death. <clears throat> This is life and death, man. This is bigger than anything tell ever. To smarten the fuck up, Jamie! What do you mean, tell her what? Quit being a bitch! I said it! I'll say it for you! I'm not gonna swear an oath I can't uphold. He has too Talk much honor. Talk about my father if you want. Tell me that's the attitude that got him killed. But when enough people make false promises, words stop meaning anything. His words everything to him. I mean, we could all just go back across the sea. I go see my sister alone. Or we all go home. And we're right back where we started. I don't think Tyrion dies here, so I, I, I'm with it. I don't think Tyrion dies here. As much as she hates Tyrion, she's terrified of what she just saw. I like Jon, though, man. He, he really, like, he's not Ned Stark's son, but he really is Ned Stark's son. You know what I'm saying? I suppose we should say goodbye. One idiot to another. This might be the last time they see each other. Man, I wish Jamie would have told uh, Tyrion too about Olena being the one behind Joffrey's murder and that they know now and everything like that. Even if it was just for a quick second, I wish he would have told him that, you know? 
just so he can find some relief in that too. But I get, you know, that's like extra dialogue that wouldn't really push the current story too much in and it of itself. So I get they can't really include everything. Daenerys didn't want to debate and negotiate. She didn't want to bring you words. She wanted to bring you fire and blood until I advised her otherwise. Yep. She was just going to fly up to this bitch. You may not have killed Joffrey, but you killed Marcella, you killed Tommen. No one would have touched them if father was here, no one would have dared. I've never been more sorry about anything. I will not hear it, not from I, you. I will not Sir. hear it! It really was a chain of events, but still. You can blame that on yourself for thinking it was Tyrion. Do it! Say the word. He knows she won't. Yep, she can't right now. She's terrified of what she saw, man. She needs to work with them. She knows she's beaten. Is he going to offer her the drink? <sighs> yep. This is crazy to see it's come to this. After all these seasons, all this time, these two, Tyrion being the one to have to talk, talk some sense into her, essentially. About the children than you could ever know. I will not. I don't care. I love them. You know I did. He, he didn't fuck with Joffrey, but he, he did love Tom and, and uh, her daughter. I don't care course. why you did what you did. I only care what it cost us. Yeah, but it was triggered by what you did. When it came at me, I didn't think about the world, not at all. She thought about her as baby. As soon as it opened its mouth, the world disappeared for me, right down its black throat. All I could think about was keeping those gnashing teeth away from the ones who matter most, away from my family. I wonder if she would take it out if she could just go live on an island with Jamie and her kid. You know what I mean? Do you think she would take that out if she had the opportunity? Just take their money and go live on an island by themselves? I can't have children. Who told you that? The witch who murdered my husband. Doesn't yeah, but she just said you, that. She might not have been a reliable source of information. Exactly. You just believed what she said? I can't pretend that Cersei won't take back half the country the moment I march north. Yeah, it's, it's it a shitty spot. The assessment was correct. We're fucked. We're fucked. <laughs> yeah, they were about to have a moment. They kind of did have a moment. My armies will not stand down. I'll but they won't press forward. To the capital. I will march them north to fight alongside you in the Great War. Mm. Damn. And when the Great War is over, perhaps you'll remember I chose to help with no promises or assurances from any of you. Damn, she's looking for a way out to survive because she knows she would get destroyed. I respect that, dude. She cares about her family, you know? I, she knows she would get fucking slaughtered by Daenerys, you know? If, like, if Daenerys really wanted to, just dragons up in that bitch. You know what I'm saying? She she wants to survive. She wants an out. Like that conversation Jamie and her had. You know what I mean? Uh, she, she knew they were fucked even if they surrender. So maybe this way she won't be fucked if she surrenders. He was named King in the North. He can't be unnamed. Fuck! Peter, you're a bitch. What's the worst reason they could possibly have for saying what they say and doing what they do? It's kind of cool seeing Peter, you know teach her like this you know as much as i hate him after she murders you what does she become the lady of winterfell oh my god lady of winterfell bro now sansa's gonna want to kill her i'm so annoyed if Arya wanted to kill you sansa she would kill you you would be dead right now literally Oh, Peter's such a little bitch, man. I'm so irritated. The storyline actually happened. I saw it coming from a mile away, but I just was, you know, <laughs> I was hoping it wouldn't, but fuck. It's important for the Northerners to see us as allies. They see you together. If we sail to White Harbor together, I think it sends a better message. He is right, but it's like risk versus reward. Is it worth the risk? I've not come to conquer the North. I'm coming to save the North. We sail together. Yeah, John's right, but so is Sir Jorah. It, again, it's literally just risk versus reward. Are you willing to risk that for the reward of, you know, the North seeing you guys united? Every step you take, it's always the right step. It's not. 
It may seem that way from the outside, but yeah, I promise you, it's the not thing true. about the shit with the wildlings. I mean, it did turn out good, but still, a lot of bad shit happened. Like there was an impossible choice I had to make. It's dark or Greyjoy. Mm. Our father was more of a father to you than yours ever was. He was. And you betrayed him. Betrayed his memory. I did. He's a part of you. Just like he's a part of me. Just gotta find him again. It's not my place to forgive you for all of it. Gotta forgive yourself. But what I can forgive, I do. John still sees him as a brother, man. Yara tried to save me. She's the only one who tried to save me. So why are you still talking to me? Gotta go save her, Theon. You gotta do it alone, man. John can't help you. John can't do it for you. You know, you gotta find a way, man. <laughs> Theon's gonna kill him, man. This is gonna be his turning point for his character after that speech from John. He knows who he is now. He's a he's a Greyjoy and a Stark. Man, Theon's just been taking a fucking beating ever, like for, for this entire fucking show. Like, god damn, motherfucker can't catch a W. Damn, that didn't even hurt him though. He has nothing down there. Yeah, that's one advantage, man. <laughs> he ain't got nothing down there no more. But that shit would still hurt, you know, doing it three times in a row like that. That's still on bone, you know what I mean, on your pelvis. Man, I respect that nobody jumped in, you know what I mean, and started pulling Dion off or jumping him. You know, they let whatever happened happen, and whoever comes out on top comes out on top. Dion caught a W finally, man. And he's got their respect, I bet. He just needs to get up, stand on his two feet. Liara! They respect that. He just outlasted him, man. He took those hits and he was able to take him out, man. I wonder if we're gonna get the Yara rescue this episode, bruh. Shit. You stand accused of murder. You stand accused of treason. How do you answer these charges? From who? On who? Murder. Lord Baelish. Oh shit. She turned. Did Arya go tell Sansa that Peter was the one with the letter in the first place and got it from his room? Oh shit. Mrs. Strauss, your question. <laughs> I love this. Earlier you conspired to murder John Arryn. I forgot Sansa you was gave there. Gave Lysa tears of lease to poison him. Do you deny it? Yep. Bran seen all this. Might have told you. It's Bran. Look at him. That's why Bran's there. Dude, I love this. Let's go. I can't believe I ever thought Sansa would kill Arya. Do you deny it? I deny it. None hmm. of you were there. Bran's like, see what happens. I saw it. None of you knows the truth. You Bran held does. a knife to his throat. Yep. You said, I did warn you not to trust me. Is this Peter's death scene? Sometimes when I'm trying to understand a person's motives, I play a little game. Damn, she did that with him. Give me a chance to defend myself. I deserve that. No, you don't. Bran's seen it all. He knows. I beg you. <laughs> I loved your mother since the time I was a boy. And yet you betrayed her. Mm-hmm. I will never forget them. Damn. Are you going to be the one to do it? <laughs> Damn. I mean, Peter was probably on her list after finding out all that information and what she did to, her, you know, her dad. What he did to her dad. That he's the reason he's dead. He started all this shit. Damn, Peter dying is a major character death, bro. It's not one I'm sad about. But like, holy fuck, dude. Peter's been around for a minute. He's literally the cause of Game of Thrones, dude. And now he's fucking dead. Holy shit. That's insane, bro. And Arya being the one to do it, that's another name off the list. Shit. What the fuck? My lords, I need a moment with my brother. Fuck, dude. Don't tell me she's going to tell him some fuck shit to betray Daenerys. I mean, I feel like she wants to protect the baby, so she's not going to, but I also know it's Cersei, so... I'll say whatever I need to say to ensure the survival of our house. 
You expect me to trust Jesus. the man who murdered our father? You expect me to command our troops to fight beside foreign scum? If the dead win, they march south and, and kill us fight. all. If yep. the living win, and we've betrayed them, they march south and kill us all! The Tyrians yeah. and Starks already want to kill us all. Highgarden bought us the most powerful army in Essos. The Golden Company. 20,000 men, horses, elephants, I believe. 20k men versus 100k undead. No one walks away from me. Wow. He said Why was he there in the first place? He's going to ferry the Golden Company back here to help us win the war for Westeros. Wow. Damn. Wow, no way Jamie dies. No chance. I told you no one walks away from me. She's gonna, I feel like, man. I feel like Jamie this is it for Jamie. No, dude, I know, I knew, I could tell by the music that this was it. Oh my God, oh my God. I don't believe you. Oh my God, she's gonna do it, she's gonna do it, dude. She's gonna do it, dude, she's gonna do it, dude. This is it for Jamie. Oh my God, okay, it wasn't, fuck. Dude, I feel like he's still gonna die, man, fuck. Dude, why, dude, fuck, I really don't want him to die. I'd be sad about this death, and we haven't had a fucking big death for this finale. Thank God, holy shit, man. Dude, what a bitch. You realize 20K, 20K, the Golden Company? There's 100K in the Undead Army. If they win, you're still fucked. Daenerys has dragons. If she wins, you're still fucked. <laughs> like, what the fuck, 20K? Oh, what is that? Oh, rain, snow. Oh, the snow's finally come south. We've had it in the north, but not the south, man. Yeah, Jamie. Yeah, not only that, not only do they have to worry about all this war and shit with the Nerys, the North, all that shit. Like, bro, the fact that just winter is here too is a fucking problem. Motherfuckers, like, winter's long as shit. It's years here, right? People just starve in their castles. Like, bro, that's an issue in and of itself, man. I became the Three-Eyed Raven. Oh. oh. I don't know what that means. Yeah. John isn't really my father's son. He's the son of Rhaegar Targaryen and my aunt, Lyanna Stark. Yeah! He was born in a tower in Dawn. He wed Rhaegar and Lyanna in a secret ceremony. Yep. Are you certain? It's what the High Septon wrote in his private diary. I don't know why he'd lie. Well, shouldn't you be able to see that, Bran? Because that's an event that happened. Dude, that's amazing, dude. I'm so glad he told someone finally. Damn, so they really were in love, huh? Crow. Stranger. Robert's I mean, rebellion she looks... was built on a lie. Yeah. She looks Rhaegar happy. Didn't kidnap my aunt or rape her. It was all consensual. Wow. So Robert's literally the villain in this story, low key. Holy fuck, man. That's insane. Yeah. And now we're cutting to Daenerys and John. They're gonna end up together. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck? Dude, I'm so glad. I don't even care that it wasn't John that was the one being told. I just wanted Bran to let that information out to the world. And now that Sam knows, I'm so happy. Oh. He's the heir to the Iron Throne. Literally, bro. That's insane to think about now that I put that in my mind because John would be in line before Daenerys because he's, you know, a male. Holy shit. I didn't realize that that does mean he is heir to the throne. You know, I, I didn't really realize how big of an impact that him being his kid was. I didn't even put that together. I was just thinking about, you know, he's a Targaryen. Bro, don't, none of you motherfuckers better go right out there. Y'all better keep that gate shut. And send a prayer up to God. Look, they got some giants still. I forgot about them, bro. Are they gonna see the dragon? Oh my God, dude, their army is massive. Oh my God, is that ice or fire? It's blue? That's gotta be ice, right? Dude, I need a full look at this bitch. Look, oh my God. Wow, man, he's riding it. This is a fucking problem. Oh my God, dude. Technically he shouldn't. Oh, okay, he's just destroying the wall right now. Yeah, I mean, it is breathing fire. It's just blue, fuck. I mean, I don't know how that really works because fire's supposed to kill whites and shit, but. Fuck, dude. Dude, this is what I'm saying, man. Them going beyond the wall is what caused them to be fucked. If they did not have this dragon, how are they breaking the wall? Them going beyond the wall is what caused them to be fucked. Literally. Butterfly effect. Like, look at that shot, man. What the hell? Bro, Tormund, you better not fucking die. You better not fucking die, Tormund. 
Oh god, dude, the wall is down. Oh shit. Bro, Torman's atop the wall, he's fucked. Wow. They're fucked. Not only that, but how is our side going to take out a dragon? Well, I mean, I guess same way, you know, you just... And because they buy, die by dragon glass, it might be even easier because you just got to fucking throw one spear at it as long as it pierces its skin, you know? One tiny spear, a fucking arrow or something, right? Or even catch it on fire once. Where's Torma at? That bitch better have survived, bro. And look at this shit. He's just going, bro, like, they're here. They're here, bro. They'll be at Winterfell 24 hours. The fuck? Bro, that better not have been like a Tormund death, death off, off screen. Oh my God. <laughs> like with Beric and all of them, this, this better not be like Tormund's gone now forever and they just don't bring him back. I'm gonna be very pissed off if that's what it is. What the fuck? That's how we're ending this shit? Game of Thrones season seven, episode number seven is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. What the fuck? What a finale. What an episode, man. Holy shit, dude. See, I said this in the episode that happened. I said, what if the reason they break through at Eastwatch is because of the fact that they're going beyond the wall to try and get a fucking, you know, person from the army of the dead. And that's exactly what the fuck it was. They went beyond the wall. They got, you know, surrounded. Daenerys had to go save them. The White Walker King fucking killed the dragon. Added the dragon to the army. Took the fucking wall down. They're fucked. They're fucked, bro. Like, they're fucked. Like, they're literally fucked. I don't understand how... Literally, like, originally, like I said, I thought the way they would win Daenerys, her dragons... You know what I'm saying? But no. There's got to be some other big way they win. It has to be related to Bran being the Three-Eye Raven. That's the only thing that that's going to, you know stop this shit i feel like at this point it's out of every normal person's hands it has to be well actually that's not true because we found out last episode if you kill the fucking white walker that created the whites all those whites die so if they kill the night king in essence everybody else should die right you know what i mean but i don't know how true that'll be or how easy it'll be to kill him you know because again spoiler for vampire diaries i'm just saying in the Vampire Diaries, you know, normal vampires can just be killed with stakes, but you know, the originals, if they get killed, all the people that they turn into vampires die as well. But to kill an original, you can't just kill him with a stake, you have to kill him with the white oak shit. You know, so maybe there's some special thing that the uh, Night King needs to be killed, which I know we're gonna say Valyrian Steel, Dragonglass, but I'm saying something different than that. I don't know what it would be or if that would be the case, but I don't know, I just feel like killing him might be too easy if it's just to kill him with the, you know, dragon glass or something because John's taken out plenty of white walkers by, you know, dueling them. And I feel like if that's how we kill him, then everyone else dies. I feel like that's gonna be a super like, I don't know, like way too easy to win this shit type thing. And not only that, I thought the whole thing, this I thought we were gonna focus on like either the white walker war or the, you know, Daenerys taking King's Landing war this season. And then the last season was gonna be, you know, the other whatever one didn't happen this season but we're like doing both and going back and forth between the two which it makes sense you know now for season eight we have this big kind of convergence of all the problems the whole war going on still between cersei and them jamie leaving like dude so much shit happened this fucking episode oh my god man i just dude i'm I, quite frankly finishing season seven i ain't have a problem with it i'm saying this right now i liked it i enjoyed it it was great there, there's uh, it's episode four and episode uh, six, probably two of my favorite Game of Thrones episodes out there, man. You know what I mean? Like, I enjoyed the season. I liked it. I have a single problem with it, man. You know, the fast travel shit just made the show more fast paced, which isn't a, you know, that's not a bad thing necessarily. But going on to season eight, I am super excited for it. I'm super excited to see how we wrap up the show. I think there's six episodes for season eight, six or seven. Super short. It's going to be sad when we're finished, but I'm fucking loving it thus far. <sighs> I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen next season. I don't know if we're gonna have a time jump. I feel like we couldn't have a time jump because if we do, I mean, the White Walkers are already on the other side of the wall. Like, at least Daenerys and them are all going to King's Landing. But I don't, did she even bring her dragons? I mean, I know she said she wasn't flying on them. She was gonna go by on the ship with Jon. But uh, I wonder if her dragons are like following in tow, just flying behind them because you don't fucking need them, bitch. Like, holy shit, dude. 
All this stuff is fucking insane. I'm loving it. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section down below. Like always, also if you guys did enjoy this reaction video, make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Full reaction will be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes if you guys want to check that out. Link in the description down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next one. What is going on, everybody? I hope you guys all did enjoy that video you just checked out. If you did, make sure to drop a like and comment down below. What is a movie or TV series that you guys would like to see me react to next? I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on Patreon, man. Shout out to the homie That's So Gordo, the homie Silas Kane, and the homie Alexander Collins. I appreciate your guys' insane support, man. If you guys want to join the Patreon family, link is on screen right now as well as in the description down below. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.